Hey, we're a day to remember, and this is part two of our interview. <laughs> What jobs did you have before being in the band? I had many jobs. Me yeah. too. I couldn't keep a job because we'd leave to go on tour and I'd have to come back and be like, they're like, yeah, you don't work here anymore. And I'd have to get another job. That wasn't the reason. I mean, you that happens sometimes. <laughs> That's sometimes how it worked out. All right, fine. I just hated working all those places. That's why I wanted to be in a band. I hated waking up early. I worked at a gas station, an Arby's, a Boston Market. I cooked at a seafood restaurant. Uh, and I work construction. Oh, I was a dental technician as well. Jeez. That sounds like a weird You're YMCA a man of song. many traits. Yeah. I worked at a Dairy Queen for many years. Worked at a Hot Topic. I worked at, it was a lawyer place that only women worked at. That sounds yeah. awesome. It was kind of weird because I was the only male that worked there. Awesome. And they, so they saw something in you. They really liked you. what I did. John Mondelli, what is your favorite way to do nothing? Well, clearly in my underwear. Clearly. On my couch, <laughs> with my dogs chilling on my lap, and yeah, nothing ensues right after that. All of those things happen in that sequence, just so much nothing. I, I like that question, actually. What's Dang. your favorite way to do nothing? I don't think I have a specific way that I do nothing, but I I do like to be alone when I do it. Is that okay. a sex joke? No. Okay. Just put it to the imagination. I think yeah, is what sure. he's trying to say. Oh. I so could I could be unclothed, clothed, chilling on the couch, chilling on the porch. Doesn't yeah. matter. Could be a hundred degrees. Just could as be long as it's Does it count like getting to the nothing, like doing all of that stuff that you have to do to get to do nothing? See, Does that count? These are the things they just didn't tell us, you know? Yeah. We kind of just got to go like, with the flow. Like, I wouldn't mind doing nothing in a tree, but to get up in the tree, that's a lot of effort. Yeah, you got to do something to get in the tree. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so does that really classify as doing nothing since you had to do something to do it? I'm sorry, Swarcy Gallagher. Gallagher. Do any of you also like to lie on your kitchen floor and pretend you're a breadcrumb? I actually lied li on my kitchen floor not that long ago and my dogs attacked my face. Just like you were a breadcrumb. It was amazing. Yeah. He's a fan. I love doing it. I was a little under the weather. It was late at night. Yeah, take like notes from you your pets, that. though. Yeah, you know. They lie on that tile for a reason. Attack people that have fallen? <laughs> well, I suppose <laughs> I, that's one way to take it. Listen, I'm only going to attack someone that's fallen. I don't want someone to have any chance of attacking me back. It's perfect. Yeah, it's good. I feel like he's got a lot of questions too. Nathaniel Davis, if a fan tattooed any of your faces on their body, would you think that's okay? Um, I've been trying to personally get Tom, and he said he would, to tattoo my face on him as George Washington. <laughs> he promised me he would. Uh, so I mean, I agree like with Tom. Does idea. it? But this is something. Every time I see like people, some people that draw us, they draw us with like weird. Proportions? Yeah, yeah. It's all abstract, man. So I would be okay with it if they chose a good drawing. There you go. From the man himself. Or if they make us as Mount Rushmore. That would be tight, too. And add, like, an extra member. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> Alex is... He's on the band member. anymore? No, there's only four on Mount Rushmore. So oh, have to add. yeah, my bad. Yeah. I've never been there. Not me neither. Started out in the spring of 2003 Never went to school to John Modellini. Mondelli what, mo sure. I, who would die first in a zombie apocalypse? Who would survive? Shellnut Shell would, would die, die first because death. he cannot stay in one place at one time, so he would wander outside and be eaten immediately. I do think that he would put up a good fight because he's pretty agile and quick, but... He's pretty swift, yeah. Number, he would number die. two, Josh Woodard's dying next because Josh will not eat anything. Yeah, he's just going to die of starvation. Yes. And then us three, I don't know. I think we would probably band together. You ever seen that show Band of Brothers? It's not yeah. like that at all, but I like the name and it just kind of went into my head. Mm -hmm. So I said it. Mm -hmm. And we would win and we would survive. And, so. and fix the problem. I saw the movie Zombie Land. I took notes. Yeah. So Exactly. And In if, this story, humans win. Yep. And it's because of us three. And, and I, you're welcome. My hobby is science. 
So didn't know that, did you? Chemistry as well, background in that. And I would just make some antidote and give it to everyone, and it would be fun, and we would all live, and I'd be the new president. I'll so, tell you this, though. The if, more you know. If Emma Stone is alive during the zombie apocalypse, and she's the only girl, we'll she, protect Life's you. worth living, yeah. then. Yeah. We'll yeah. protect life you, Emma. Worth living. And you know, don't kill Bill Murray, because he isn't He's a zombie. He's just Shoot. fucking with you. Bill, Murray. Bill Murray's pretty tight. All right, now. Let's go. Vinny, if you guys run in a band, what do you see yourself doing? Playing music and not making money. Um, I see myself um, becoming an underwater welder. That's a great answer. Well, like for like oil pipelines and stuff. Yeah, you know, I feel like there's a there's a good living in that, and I like being under the water, okay. and I like welding stuff. I think you'd be never great been, at this. Yeah, my uncle's and my grandfather's welder, named after him. Underwater welder. The guy who originally no, I would taught just me. Push, I would push, push the, the limits. Yeah. To underwater. The yeah. original guy who taught me how to play guitar was a welder. I can get you in with him real quick. That'd be awesome. He's sick to hang out with too. I can do it like whenever I want to. Like I can still be in the band and exactly. pick up welding. His name's Charlie mm -hmm. Bass. He's sick. Do you really cool Chuck Bass? Might be. Ladies love Chuck Bass. Might be his father. You never know. That's sick. Not quite sure who Chuck Bass is. Anyways. Joel Collins. Okay. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? First off, are you the son of Phil Collins? And if you are, your dad is yeah. you sick at drum fills. See it. Okay, now what tonight? was the question again? What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Craziest thing a fan has ever done? One tried breaking onto our bus. He <laughs> succeeded. He succeeded, but yes. I don't know what he was thinking. Like, once he got on there, is he going to just like, we're like, hey man, come in, make yourself a pop tart. He, I don't think he thought it through. Well, he obviously didn't because. It was like a movie, for real. He got on the bus, and somebody was outside, grabbed him by the feet, and he grabbed <laughs> hold of the side of the door and was completely sideways, getting pulled off of like, the bus and screaming at us, I love you guys! I love you! And then somebody shanked him out. And then the door shut. And we were all we just sitting there kind of in. mortified. Like, did that really just happen? Last one. Last one. Uh, figures. The hardest. Valerie the hardest G. One to answer. Did any of your issues with Victory influence the sound of the album? Um, not particularly. I don't. I wouldn't say it did. I think we just tried to be ourselves. Well, we wrote that song while we were in the lawsuit, and it was pretty heavy sounding. Yeah, but we always try to write heavy songs. Yeah, but we succeeded that time. Okay, it's a good one. It probably influenced us a little bit, but not particularly. Not anything we meant to do. Maybe no. just naturally. Agreed. I love being influenced by natural things. I, I think nature. that's all the questions yeah, you have. You got any more questions? Or? No, these are all old. I'm just trying to look important still. Okay. Uh, Looks like you got a royal flush over there. <laughs> Don't blame me in poker. <laughs>